Let's discuss the five reasons to switch to integrated CAD CAM. To begin, there's the possibility of translation errors when reading in CAD files. No matter how much standalone CAM systems might try to say otherwise, they don't have access to the proprietary format CAD systems are using to store their data. This means translation of the data is always occurring, and there's always the possibility of errors, even when they try to mask it by choosing the native CAD file and translating it behind the scenes when reading in the file. Buyer beware. There's also the possibility of version issues and version lag. Sometimes the version of the CAD file is not the same as the CAM system is expecting to see, which can cause errors and partial translations. And each year, when a new version of the CAD file is developed, there can be a lag from the time new designs are being released until standalone CAM systems are able to read the new format. The truth is, and secret of many standalone CAM programmers, is they end up building their own models in the CAM system. Another related issue is that there are multiple files to maintain. When using a standalone CAM system, the CAD and CAM files are separate files that need to be maintained and always kept current. And due to design changes, keeping the CAM file current with the CAD file can often be challenging. And design changes pose another challenge, in that when a design change occurs, the CAM file must be updated and or sometimes the part has to be completely reprogrammed. In addition, as I mentioned earlier, standalone CAM systems are typically processed and not feature-based programming systems. The process begins by selecting a tool and then creating a process or operation, rough milling a pocket for example. Next, a 2D profile or chain of geometry is selected to define the pocket. Then the speeds, feeds, and other cutting parameters, including the final machining depth, are entered, and the process is created. Another tool is selected, for example, to finish the pocket, and the same steps are repeated to create another process. Once the processes are completed, the program can be simulated and post-processed to create G-code. From their inception back in the 80s up until today, users of standalone CAM systems still follow this time-consuming, error-prone process. When using a standalone CAM system, it's also typical for programmers to treat each part as a new and different program, even when it may have features similar to other parts that have already been programmed and machined. Each programmer has their own idea about how to best program a part and standalone CAM systems promote this idea. The result is five different programmers will come up with five different inconsistent programs, all believing theirs is the best. Which brings us to our next reason, lack of automation. Standalone CAM systems are detached from world-leading CAD systems like SOLIDWORKS, so integrated CAD CAM automation is not available. In fact, there is a plethora of third-party product catalogs and automation tools available for SOLIDWORKS, far in excess of any CAD CAM system, including DriveWorks and Checkmate, just to name a few. Finally, standalone CAM systems typically have very limited solid modeling capabilities. And no wonder, they are intended to create toolpaths and G-code, not as design tools or CAD systems. In fact, few, if any, CAM systems hold a candle to a good CAD system for design, and efficient CNC machining often requires tool and fixture design and sometimes custom tool design. So now that we've reviewed the five reasons to switch, let's take a look at the best of the best in action, SOLIDWORKS and CAMWORKS, and during the demonstration, we'll clearly see the advantages of using a fully integrated feature-based CAD CAM system. So here's a part model in SOLIDWORKS we might want to machine. You can see it has several pockets and holes, including a set of tapped holes around the top of the part. In addition, this part is a bit unique in that it will be machined from a casting. There are two SOLIDWORKS configurations, one for the finished machine part 
and one for the casting. Multiple configurations are unique to SolidWorks, and CamWorks also supports multiple cam configurations, which is something not found in standalone cam systems. Now we could program this part in part mode, but instead, let's go over to assembly mode and program the part there so we can see how the part will be set up and machined. Here's an assembly of the fixture for the part. You can see I've designed a quick change palette using rest buttons and dowel pins along with low profile edge clamps. So now let's see how easy it is to program the part using a cutting edge integrated cam system like CamWorks. I'll switch over to CamWorks and open the part manager and select the part I want to machine. Next, I'll open the stock manager and select the casting I want to use as stock for machining from the SolidWorks assembly tree. The casting of the part is displayed to confirm my selection. The coordinate system for machining is set to use a fixture locating hole machined in the fixture plate that the machinist can indicate to set part program zero. Now I can use CamWorks world leading automatic feature recognition to identify the machinable features. If I open the feature manager, you can see the features have been automatically added to my feature tree. And notice how these are 3D features, not 2D chains or profiles. So they'll update automatically with the model. The pockets, holes, and other machinable features have automatically been created for me. In addition to automatic feature recognition, I can also easily create features interactively. For example, I can interactively create a boss feature to machine the tapered surface around the part. And notice again how this is a 3D feature. And I can also specify a taper angle of 20 degrees for the surface. I might also want to face off this surface. So to do that, I'll create a curved feature to follow the inner profile. I'll select the curve feature as the type of feature I want to create, and then specify it as a closed loop and select one of the elements in the profile. When I select end condition, you can see the arrows pointing towards the side of the curve that will be machined. I want to reverse that direction. So I'll edit the feature profiles and reverse the direction for machining. This arrow shows the direction now. I'll say OK. And now I'll specify two millimeters as the amount of stock that is going to be on that surface and then create the feature. Down here under the setup, I can use drag and drop to determine the sequence for machining. I might want to machine the boss and then machine the curve earlier in the process. Now that the features are in place, I'll generate the operations for machining the features using CamWorks Patented Technology Database, or TechDB. CamWorks TechDB allows users to capture their best practices as they are programming, so programmers can select the best tools, feeds, and speeds for machining, and the system will then use those machining strategies automatically. Next, I can generate the toolpaths based on the operations that have been automatically generated by the TechDB. Using the TechDB standardizes the programming and machining of parts based on a company's best practices. Before I run simulation, I might also want to add the fixture components to my simulation. By selecting the components and adding all of the instances, the fixture will be displayed during simulation and the system will automatically check for any collisions with the clamps and other components. By adding the fixture plate, clamps, dowel pins, and the rest of the work holding components, and including them in the simulation, I can avoid any collisions or unexpected issues. And all of these fixture components are readily available on the web in SolidWorks format. Now that all of the components have been added, I can run toolpath simulation to watch the machining of the part. As we're watching the simulation, keep in mind any changes we might want to make can be easily made and then saved back to the technology database 
to automate the programming of the next similar part or different part with similar features. The ease of use, speed, and automation is what puts integrated CAD CAM heads and shoulders above using standalone CAM systems. In addition, CAMWorks technology promotes the capturing and sharing of knowledge, as well as standardization among programmers, and new programmers can immediately become productive and benefit from more experienced programmers and machinists. Once the simulation is complete, we can compare the machined part to the CAD model, and we can see everything is in green, which means the machined part precisely matches the CAD model. If there was any stock remaining, it would be in blue, and if we had gouged the part at any point, it would be in red. Once we're happy with the simulation, we can generate G-code for the machine. I'm using the sample machine as my default machine, but users can choose which machine they want to post out to. I'll give the output file a name, and here you can see the G-code being generated for the machine. Now a part like this would typically take an hour or more to program on a standalone CAM system, and we've been able to program this part in less than six minutes. So I hope you're beginning to understand the advantages of using an integrated feature-based CAD CAM system like CAMWorks. Also, using SOLIDWORKS, I was able to add the parts to this assembly and design this fixture using drag and drop in only a few minutes. That's something that would take hours to do using a standalone CAM system. And now, what happens if there's a design change to the part? Let's suppose that this angle changes from 10 degrees to 8 degrees, and this dimension changes from 85 to 100 millimeters, which will affect the outside profile of the part. We'll also change the offset of this pocket from 10 millimeters to 15 millimeters, and I'll do that on the other side as well, making the pocket smaller. Now watch as the part rebuilds, and you'll see the part change. And because everything is associated, the fixture and stock update automatically. And because the CAD and CAM models are one and the same, the system knows the part has changed, and the toolpaths will update automatically. Here, the toolpaths are being regenerated to match the new design. Now that they've been updated, I can run the simulation again to make sure the program has been updated. As this is running, think about how long it would take to update the fixture and the program to the design changes we made using a standalone CAM system. The automation offered by SOLIDWORKS and CAMWORKS is second to none and using tolerance-based machining and the APIs available in both SOLIDWORKS and CAMWORKS, users have everything they need to implement smart manufacturing and Industry 4.0. Using tolerance-based machining, for example, CAMWORKS will automatically recognize SOLIDWORKS MBD and PMI information and automatically select the machining strategies to meet the tolerance and surface finish requirements specified in the MBD or PMI data. Once the simulation is complete, I can again compare the machined model to the CAB model to see that everything has been updated correctly. And of course, now I can go back and generate the G-code for the new revision of the part and replace the obsolete program. Automatic revision control output to the CNC program is also available using SOLIDWORKS custom properties as well as custom setup sheets and tool lists using SOLIDWORKS robust and easy to use drawing and document capabilities. There's much more I could show you, but there's one thing I wanna make sure and cover, and that's CAMWORKS shop floor. Using CAMWORKS, I can publish a CAMWORKS shop floor file. All of the CAM models and CAM information can be captured into a single compact file that can be sent out to the shop floor. Other documents of virtually any format can be added to the shop floor file, including drawings, pictures, PDFs, and more. Now I'll begin publishing the shop floor file 
and all of the CAD CAM data will be automatically added to a single file along with the G code. Here, screenshots, setup sheets, and tool lists are being automatically generated and added to the shop floor file. Once the process is complete, we can open the folder where the file was published. Now I want you to pause for a minute and imagine you're the machinist out by the machine and using CAMWORK shop floor, you can open the file and view all the CAD CAM data in an easy to use app right at the machine. Here's a complete assembly of the setup in a compact format that the machinist can easily view. In addition, a robust set of CAD CAM tools is available, including full toolpath simulation, just like the programmer has available using CAMWORKS. So here, the machinist can run the simulation and see exactly what's going to happen on the machine prior to running the G-code. Never before has the machinist had the advantage of using integrated CAD CAM. And the ability to compare the machined model to the design model is also available. In addition, the machinist can view setup sheets and tool lists. Here's an example of a tool list that was generated automatically from CAMWORKS. And 3D viewing of tools is also available so that the machinist can understand exactly what the tool assembly should look like, including different display options and also the ability to show critical dimensions. Shop floor users also have the option to step through a toolpath. Using step through toolpath, they can watch each and every move of, C of a CNC program and rest assured that there won't be any issues or any collisions that occur. Never before has such a robust set of CAD CAM tools been available for the machinist right on the shop floor. And this can help reduce setup time and cycle time and increase production. And CAMWORKS shop floor is available at a fraction of the cost of a full CAD CAM system. Now that we've seen the product in action, let's consider the benefits of using a fully integrated CAD CAM system like CAMWORKS and shop floor. To begin, there's the ability to easily design fixtures, custom tools, and tooling. You can dramatically reduce your programming time and CAMWORKS creates fully associative toolpaths that update automatically to design changes. With CAMWORKS shop floor, you can create a paperless digital machine shop, cut your setup time, and avoid costly collisions. CAMWORKS and shop floor will also help you increase production and improve delivery time by avoiding programming and machining errors, while at the same time, improving the consistency and quality of your parts. To help in making the switch to CAMWORKS easy, we are quite unique in the fact that we offer both term or rental licensing options to our customers, as well as perpetual licenses. This way, you can try CAMWORKS at a low, no commitment cost, and once you've seen and experienced the savings it can provide you, you have the option to purchase a perpetual license. We're offering you an easy and low risk way of getting into an advanced CAD CAM system with continued investment and a strong future.